Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Um, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company, get the company name right. Um, as the deal that I've done with them, they've agreed to do my first lot of merch. My merch is down in the description below, um, the link straight to my merch will take you straight there. Um, along with all my social medias. Um, Feel free to check it out after checking out this video. Um, there's also, let me know what you think of my merch. Would you like to see something from me in the near future? Please feel free to put all your ideas down below as well. Um, but guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first guy we're going to talk about, Derby County versus Cardiff City. Cardiff won all um, against Fulham at home. And Derby County losing 3 0 to Brentford, that's got a big, a big blow for Derby. Um, let's go talk about this Cardiff result and the Cardiff point of view. Um, I think they are very fortunate to get the point. I think they might have deserved the three, but also the same goes for Fulham. But I'll talk about Fulham in just a minute. Um, Derby, on the other hand, losing 3 0 to Brentford, it really is one of them things where. You know, did Derby go to that game and, you know, expected to win? It is literally one of them things. Um, but 3-0 to Brentford, that's got to be a big blow in their promotion hopes. Um, Brentford probably be one of the teams that would have them down to beat. But nonetheless, it didn't happen. So. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Derby County win, considering they're at home. The next one is Fulham versus West Brom. Just literally spoke about Fulham, as I said, they're my next game up. Um, one all against Cardiff. West Brom and Albion, 3 2 winners at home to Blackburn Rovers. Um, Fulham, as I said, they're probably fortunate not to get the three points, but then they're also fortunate not to lose the three points. But to come on with a point of peace, if you're a Fulham fan, please tell me how you felt about that result. I know it's nearly two weeks ago and it's all forgotten. I know how it is being a football fan, trust me. Um, but tell me, if you can, how you felt at that present time. Are you happy with the point in South Wales? Um, West Brom, 3-2 um, winners at home to Blackburn, as I've just mentioned. West Brom, I don't know how they're going to go this season. It really is going to be, um, I think, a bit of a dodgy season for West Brom and Jailview. But as far as this, this result goes, I've gone for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Blackburn versus Millwall. Blackburn, as I've just said, uh, lost 3-2 to West Brom at West Brom. Um, Millwall one all at home to Hull City. Probably expect a little bit more from Millwall considering they're at home. It really is one of them things where I think this sort of result that why Millwall struggle come the end of the season. But as far as this result goes, I've gone for a three one Millwall win for that one. My next one is Charlton versus Birmingham. Birmingham beating Stoke 2-1, not a huge surprise there. Um, Charlton beating Reading at home. Considering Charlton by the previous week before that game, probably is a bit of a shock, but Charlton are doing well ever since coming back into the championship. Birmingham, on the other hand, you know, hopefully start to make steps forward like Bolton are. Um, you know, I've known they've had their trouble in their past, but... Hopefully that's in the past if you're a Birmingham fan. Um, obviously you've still got this battle with Berry. Um, you know, it really is horrible to see in the world of football. Um, if you watch my League One predictions, you can roughly tell when I talk about Bolton and Berry how fortunate we are to have Bolton in League One and how unfortunate that Berry's had to go down that route. Hopefully be in my League Two predictions for next season. But back to the Championship. Um, as I said, Birmingham, 2-1 winners over Stoke, probably a little bit expected. But as far as this one goes, I've gone for a 3-1 Charlton win. 
My next one is Hull City versus Wigan. Wigan nil nil against Barnsley at home. Hull City ain't not mentioned them one all away to Millwall. Um, both results that Wigan probably a bit of a surprise. Hull, see, I said to you that middle range short table team ever since they've gone down from the Premier League. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Reading. Middlesbrough 2-2 two -two away to Bristol City. Reading losing 2-0 to Chatham Athletic and not mentioned. Um, Middlesbrough joins Bristol City. Um, I don't know what end to sort of take on that. Probably be more disappointed if I was a Bristol City fan. Um, but, you know, fair play to Middlesbrough. And, uh, yeah, um, obviously losing too much shouting at home probably ain't the best day in Reading's um, time at this present stage. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go give a point apiece and I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Preston North End versus Brentford. Preston North End won all away to Notch Forest. Brentford beating Derby 3-0. Mentioned that at the top of the fitting. I'll mention that again on the, Brentford, on the Brentford point of view. But let's go to this Notch Forest result um, on the Preston point of view. Won all away at Notch Forest. Probably is not a bad result for Preston, but a point to point if you look at it that sort of way. If you don't, you know, it's not Forest have been playing well recently, so I won't knock it. Um, no disrespect to Preston. Brentford, on the other hand, 3 0 winners at Derby at home. And um, considering Brentford lost a few of their key players in the summer transfer window. That ain't a bad result, as far as I can look at it. Um, but as far as this result goes, because it's back at Deepdale, I've gone for a 2-1 Preston win. My next one is QPR versus Luton Town. QPR 2-1 winners away to Sheffield Wednesday. Luton Town beating Huddersfield 2-1. Um... Luton, at that time, Huddersfield were managerless. They have got a manager's in charge, and I'll talk about that when I get down to the Huddersfield game. You know, probably expect a three points to pick up for Huddersfield. Um, QPO, on the other hand, 2 1 winners at Sheffield Wednesday, probably a bit of a surprising result. But for this one, I've gone for a 3 0 QPO win. My next one is Stoke City versus Bristol City. Stoke City losing 2-1 to Birmingham City and Bristol City 2-2 up uh, against Middlesbrough at home. Stoke are really poor this season. I can't believe how far they've gone downhill. Um, let's not forget, a few years back they were an actual Premier League side. This is where, it, you know, when teams get relegated, I wouldn't be worried about going back up. I'd be more worried about back-to-back -back relegations, which is what Sunderland did. Um, but, you know, is Stoke looking that way? It looks more than likely, unless they start picking up points. Um, Bristol City, 2-2 against Middlesbrough. I probably expected a little bit more from Bristol City, but I think I've already said that in this video. But as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it to Bristol City. And I'm going to go for a 4-0 Bristol City win. Just hoping that Stoke can get it sorted out soon. Um, my next one is Swansea versus Nottingham Forest. Swansea beating Leagues 1-0. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Notch Forest 1-0 against Preston North End. Notch Forest probably expected to get three points in that one, if I'm all honest. That Swansea game, that went right down to the death of the 90 minute, and then Swansea scored, and that's basically it, you know, it's final time. Um, good time to score Swansea. 
Um, and you know, in all honesty, no disrespect to leagues, it's always a good, it's always good for your team to score right in the 90th minute. Come on, let's be honest. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to stick up for the Swans and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Swans and City win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Sheffield Wednesday. Bit of a Yorkshire derby in this one. Um, let's go talk about Huddersfield first because Huddersfield have got the um, Danny in charge from Lincoln Town and his brother. If you're a Huddersfield, if you're a Huddersfield Town fan, Please feel free to put it down in the comments below how you feel about that appointment. Would you want someone more um, experienced, known to Spet, to Danny, or you know, to the Lincoln, uh, old Lincoln managers, or are you happy with that appointment? Please feel free to put your opinions down below and let me know how you feel on that point of view. Um, hopefully, um, Huddersfield might be looking on the way back up, but we have to wait and see. Um, Sheffield Wednesday one all at home. To, uh, sorry, lost two one to QPR um, at home. Probably a bit of a you know difficult result on that point of view. But for this one, I'll go for a two 0 Sheffield Wednesday win. Probably give Danny a bit of time. Um, my last one for this weekend is Barnsley versus Leagues. Yet again, another bit of a derby. Um, I spoke about Leagues losing 1 0 to Swansea at home. Barnsley 0 0 away to Wigan. Now, this has got to be such an interesting week for Leagues purely because of that result. Um, obviously, Leagues got to keep on winning now to get the pressure on Swansea. A bit like the Premier League with Liverpool Man City last season. It really is going to be. You know, up to these two clubs to keep pressure on each other. Um, but, you know, it, it, I think it's going to be interesting, none of the wiser. Um, Barnsley ain't doing too bad ever since they came back up from League One. Um, you know, they seem to be holding their own. I think they beat Fulham on opening day as well. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3 1 Leagues win. Um, but, guys, you know what to do, check out my merch down in the description below, the links are all there. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.